Let's start with the basic controls for your player, for anyone brand new to ARC. The standard WASD for moving forwards, backwards and strafing left to right. Whilst moving forward, hold the left shift or press the right shift to run. To slow yourself down to crawling speed, hold the left ALT button. Press C to crouch, press X to prone, spacebar to jump, press E for the use action button. For example, collecting resources, taking a drink, consuming something, dragging bodies. Whilst you're collecting bushes, you can hold E to continuously collect resources until it's exhausted. To access your infantry, press I. Press V to access your crafting list. Or you can use the left mouse and go through the infantry menus. To craft, double click the highlighted item. Or right click for more options. Press O to drop items. Press F to access another inventory. Press M to bring up the map, then hold M to look around and you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Press any of the arrow keys to look in that direction. To melee attack or fire, it's the left mouse button. Depending on the weapon, the right mouse button will either aim or be an alternative fire. Press R to reload. Use the scroll wheel up or down to enter first or third person. To equip armor, go to your inventory. You can either drag the item to the corresponding slots, or you can double click it. Note offhand is for shields, and pet is for the chibi pets. To equip a weapon, highlight the item, press E to select it. At the bottom of the screen is a hotbar. By double clicking on most items, they will move into the hotbar in number order. You can also drag and drop most items into the hotbar. Press the corresponding number to access the hotbar item. Hold either the left or right bracket for a couple of seconds and it will bring up the emote shortcut. And left click to use the selected emote. At the time of the recording, the emote controls are inconsistent. Sometimes it will play the previous emote, sometimes the default emote, and other times nothing. If you look in a particular direction and press the mouse wheel, it will ping instructions or directions for other tritemates to see. It will default guess the right option. To make sure you get the right option, look at the desired object, hold down the mouse wheel, highlight the option you want and release. Press Q to toggle your fists or previously equipped weapon. If you hold Q, your heart bar changes to an infantry shortcut. Notice now the slots have changed to only 8. That's because 9 and 0 are now used to scroll through for more items. And use 1 to 8 to select the item. Hold Q to return to the hot bar. When you're in your infantry, press Q to bring up text. The add plus button on the number pad makes you poop if you're ready. If you press left control, it'll make you a melee attack, or if you have a weapon, you'll do a weapon whip. Right alt has two functions. By default it will melee attack or weapon whip. But if you time it right, you can activate the selfie camera. So weirdly, make sure you have a weapon equipped. Then toggle the weapon away. It doesn't matter if it's Q or a hotbar number, but literally the second you are unequipping, hold right alt and it will switch to the selfie camera. If you are too slow, it will just melee attack. While still holding right alt, you can spin around your character and zoom in and out with the mouse scroll. Press the backspace to toggle the HUD on and off. Hold H to view the HUD extension. Press L to open the Tribe Manager shortcut. To add a weapon attachment, using the left mouse button, literally drag and drop it onto the weapon. To remove the attachment, use the right mouse button, go to remove, and left click accessory. To use the attachment, press N. To change your weapon ammo and or attachments, Hold R, select the desired ammo or attachment and release. For grapple hooks, left click to fire. Hold the left mouse button to reel in. Hold the right mouse button to reel out. Press X to ungrapple. When you have reeled yourself all the way up, keep holding the left mouse button. Face the direction you wish to travel and press spacebar. You'll jump and fire. Press K for orbital view also known as K mode. You can look around, zoom in and out, and move. 
but as soon as you interact it will kick you straight out of orbital view. Press the title button to toggle open the command console line. To talk to somebody in game, hold B. This can be changed to toggle in the settings. Press enter to open and close global chat. With global chat open, press tab to cycle through global, tribe, alliance and local chat. Press slash to open the tribe chat shortcut. Press home for the alliance chat. Press insert for the local chat. By pressing backslash it allows you to enable and disable the auto chat box. Let's start with foundations. After selecting one you can cancel it with the right mouse button. After you've chosen a location to place your foundation, click the left mouse button once in place. Move the mouse left or right to change the rotation and or move the mouse up and down to adjust its height. By pressing Q you can cycle through locking the height or the rotation. Press an E can lock or unlock your camera angle. Once lined up, press the left mouse button again. You can look at any structural item, hold E to bring up some options. And if you wish, hold H as well to view some text. For walls, doors and ceilings, select the item, press Q to change the snap point, press E to flip the item, and R to change the type of item. And use the left mouse button to click in place. For non-structural builds, select the item. By default, it snaps to the foundations. Hold Q to change to unsnap and release. You can now press E to rotate them and freely place. Left mouse button to place. Any structural item that has an inventory, press F when next to it to gain access. Press E to mount or dismount any rideable dinosaur. If mounted, press F to access the dino's inventory. If unmounted, stand next to it, look at it and press F. Also if unmounted, look at it and hold E to bring up some options. Keep holding E and then hold H at the same time to bring up some text. Use the left mouse button to open any sub-menus and highlight the option you want. And then simply release. When mounted, use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down to change from first to third person. For movement, press W for forward and S for backwards. Use the mouse to look in the direction you wish to go. Some creatures can strafe by using A and D. Hold left shift or press the right shift to sprint. Use the left mouse button for a primary attack. The right mouse button varies from dino to dino. Some do nothing, some it's a secondary attack. For others it can be climbing or throwing. Some dinosaurs have extra abilities, for example pressing C will change the plates on the stego. One particular creature has multiple controls, luckily they are on display. For some ground creatures press spacebar to jump. For flyers press spacebar to take off and to land. So depending on your dinosaur and the size of the dinosaur you are planning on picking up, use the right mouse to pick up and throw down. For shoulder pets press E to pick up. If on foot double tap F to throw them off. If on a dino double tap R to throw them off. With the dino on your shoulder hold R to bring up its menus to access its inventory or throw it off. Hold T or press apostrophe for the whistle menu. Press T for one follow me. Press Y for one stop. Hyphen for all neutral equals for all aggressive, semicolon for all passive, full stop for attack this target, comma for all to move here, J for all follow me, U for all stop. Note that land this flyer shortcut is unassigned by default. To use a tech saddle, mount the dino, make sure you have element in its inventory and you have unlocked the end grab. Press the left control to change from primary dino attack to weapons and it's the left mouse button to fire the element. 
In order for the tech suit to be used, firstly you need to have to unlock the items, and secondly you have to have element in your inventory. To toggle your tech helmet, hold R to bring up a menu and you can choose to switch it on or off, or cycle through the different modes. With the tech leggings, hold left control to super speed through most things and walk on water. With the tech gauntlets, hold the right mouse button and release for a super punch. There are no controls for the tech boots, they're just designed to walk up anything and receive no fall damage. With the tech chest piece, hold spacebar to slowly fly upwards. Double tap the spacebar for a small boost upwards. When flying, press the right shift to toggle hovering, or you can hold the left shift for hovering. To super fly, there are three options. They are hold left control and left shift, hold left control and space bar, or the easiest option, press right shift and hold the left control. If I've missed anything, please leave a comment below. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. If you want more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stalk me, hit the notifications. Cheers and gone.